Holly here on the channel, The Latino Slant, where we cover all things Latino coming out of entertainment, whether it's Hollywood, independent, uh, movies, comics, books, music, uh, cultura, y más. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to do two things before we talk about to uh, go, get to today's uh, uh, video subject. One, I want to welcome all our new people whom I met in person or the last couple of weeks, if you've come on and uh, checked out our work, muchísimas gracias. Uh, you're all welcomed uh, and uh, very excited to keep on uh, growing this channel with all you guys. Number two now, if you haven't already thought of a really cool Christmas gift for someone that you love and that you like, consider this t-shirt. That's right. My own creation, Defund the Thought Police. I've had this on sale now on our stream elements for a while. People love it. It's a fantastic t-shirt, great quality, good fits, different cuts, and only $25, $25 for this awesome t-shirt that has a great message as far as uh, independent thinking and uh, people that are into just freedom of expression and speech. This is it right now. Get it for that loved one. I, I just don't push my merchandise enough. <laughs> I hardly do. So... I wanted to uh, to let you all know about that. Now it's the holiday season. Consider getting one for a family and friend or even a couple. Link is in the video box description. Okay, now that we have uh, gotten that out of the way, what I wanted to talk about is my feelings on the Comic-Con experience that I had as far as being a panel, panel member and um, getting ready to see the full panel live on the Film Threat channel. Let's bring this image up. Why 99% of movies today are garbage. <laughs> That's a great title created by Chris Gore. This is the name of the, uh, of the panel that we had. And uh, I'm sure this is actually the, the, um, the, what do you call it? The thumbnail for uh for the video like i said once that is up i will have it in the video description you have from left to right chris gore gary nerdrotix alan from film threat anna that star wars girl then you have uh dante from cancel dante and then my goofy self now um i was a i, I was a like the last minute entry which was fine because you know he uh chris asked me to come on board and i was more than uh, honored and thrilled to be a part of it one <clears throat> the people on the panel it was fantastic to meet uh, these people that i've watched for many years in, to meet them in person, you, you just there's just nothing like a third dimensional, fully flat, you know, full flesh human that you can interact with. It, it, there's nothing like it, guys. And uh, I had already met Gary a few days prior, and but right then and there it was like I had met right before the panel. I walked on was Anna and uh, Dante. I cannot tell you what great people these guys are, and not blowing in any hot air up anyone's asses. They're really cool people. They were so cool that afterwards we went and had dinner and just chit chatted some more about so many subjects, about so many things that we that we love, that we don't like. Uh, and, you know, I, I'm telling you, if you guys follow them, my hat's off to you. If you don't follow them now. Also, too. I think you I think I think it would benefit yourself and benefit. You know, this is just my thought here is when someone takes such a strong stance in a video, like I do or like they do, that you, you see how it affects your take on things. Because what we tend to do is just attack that person who you don't agree with and not maybe say, okay, well, this is how I see it. I'm wondering how that goes into what I'm seeing as well. Because then you can have some really decent discord, some really decent discussions, critical. Uh, and that's all I had with these people. It's just, I, I cannot, again, I cannot speak highly enough to these, uh, these people and their character. And uh, we'll leave it at there. That's just, that is just one man's opinion. Um, now, I want to get to the actual panel. And I, 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 there's, there's so many great takeaways from that live panel and you'll get to see 
One is we all, we all easily could have gone on for another hour, not just us talking, but we wanted to answer all the questions. It was a packed house. People were asking fantastic questions. Uh, so it easily, easily could have gone on for another hour. And we were in a decent sized room. And again, uh, the audience was just so amazing. You guys were great. If you guys are now subscribed and checking, checking the channel out, I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun meeting you all. Two, <clears throat> I took this title in regards to why 99% of movies are, today are garbage and something Chris had said prior. He said, what movies are we still talking about 10 years, 20 years back in the day? And will we be talking about these movies that are out now in the future? And I was like, wow, that's, that's really fascinating. And in the panel, I gave the example of, of uh, Herod's Law, this movie I saw recently that's for the first time that's 23 years old and when a movie is that entertaining they hold up they stand the test of time and and, and some do a better job at it so really that was a great 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 uh, springboard for me to talk about really what is that one percent all about what is that one percent that brings us together uh, because, you know, it, it's, it's, it's those that, 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 those great stories that are being told and have been told that we really find so much common, de uh, common denominator with. King David once said, a song is a song is a song. Not, there's nothing new under the sun. It's how we sing that song. And I absolutely have always believed that. Whether it's reimagined, uh, a, a remake, retooled. I'll give it. I'll give it. I'll. I'll give it a chance. But if it's regurgitated, then which is mainly what is coming out nowadays, then you're gonna feel my wrath. That's just it. That's just it. Now more than ever. Now more than ever. Also, too, when we were talking about great films and as far as diversity, uh, because it is it is a diverse panel, but that the the audience was just totally i mean i couldn't believe how uh you know people of all different backgrounds uh all nerds united were there just giving us great great questions and into the discussion um that when diversity and inclusion are organically woven into the story you you appreciate it but emotionally it connects you to the story on a higher plane Whereas you are, you know, seeing the, 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 the flagpoles of each station. Here's the check mark. Here's that check mark. It takes the entertainment value out. That's just my personal opinion. I, and I, I'm a big believer of that. So again, when this, chat, when this live stream, uh, when they have this live uh, panel up and it's, it's recorded live, um, we will have the video description in, we will have the, uh, the link in the video description. I wanted to say one more thing and then I'm going to wrap it up. I met some wonderful people afterwards and they were coming to me wanting more movie recommendations. What was that? Who was that director you talked about? What was that movie called? Well, have you heard of this? And it says to me, you are all hungry for film and entertainment knowledge, film and entertainment uh, enlightenment. You want to devour, devour all this good stuff. And I get it because I'm that same way too. I do it every day. And there was one person in particular that really, uh, you know, hit my heart. Um, she's a 19 year old uh, would be animator and filmmaker in the making. She's going to school, I believe. And she was just really blown away by the panel. Not that she agreed with everyone on it, which is even more important, but it, it, it really, it really, I, I saw it. It really woke up so many ideas in her that even with her awkward uh shyness which you know which we talked about it compelled her to talk to me and others it compelled her to say hey i want to know more about this i want to know about that and we then we talked about uh, as far as you know you know being a creative person in a commerce you know a business she was fantastic that's that that was such a highlight to me and that i i i uh, it, it, that's going to stay with me and, and people like that. And that 
knowing that person, meeting that person makes me really, really excited for the future that this young person who wants to be the next generation of, uh, you know, creators and, and animators uh, is, is going to be out there doing it and uh, listening to different voices such as ourselves. Uh, and all you guys were hungry. So really, that's that's it with this video. I, I wanted to, uh, uh, again, thank everyone that was there. I had an absolutely amazing time. Thank everyone that came up to me. We had some great quick talks. And uh, if you are uh, watching this video, let's continue the conversation in the comments down below. And remember, the link to the live panel, the full panel is going to be on the Film Threat channel, which I will have. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you all so much. I always say this wherever you're at. Keep your slam. Fuerte. Paz. Y de Hasta la próxima.